What's up guys, this is the Brothman I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So, to round off where we left off, we have defeated the Venetians in battle and then we are now going to advance on their capital to knock them out of the game. So we do have their, the previous garrison force attack, um, providing some support, well, not, not garrison force but another Venetian force coming in to reinforce them but they're heavily depleted and their main force will probably fall to us in quick succession. But they do have a strong bank of mortars, so we need to move up in short, heavily, um, too heavily shelled, and eventually get them get their morale to break, and then they run. So let's have a look at what the lay of the land looks like. The, the first. Um, So I think I might want to push from the left because the reinforcements should be coming on from somewhere up here. So my fear is if I pushed on the right, I might end up getting attacked on two fronts. Whereas if I attack from the left, it would be... I don't know, actually, I suppose I could split them up as well if I pushed up the centre. Maybe rangers and cavalry on the left. My guns probably have to pick a spot and stay set up, but there's not that many good spots. The bulk of our line infantry needs to advance rapidly on the right. Ah, oh, okay. So it's not really what I thought would happen at all. There come the mortars, which is understandable. We will need to curl. This flank maybe actually. Kill the right flank back like so. Keep my cavalry a bit further out of the muck. Defilade. Let's get this corner here to form square. Let's try to make our in because they may as well because they're already being engaged. Cavalry. Awesome. I wonder if this cavalry unit wants to smash through. Let them get the gunners hit this unit of line infantry. Reposition you. Maybe even fall this wing back so that we're engaging the line infantry in more of an open field battle. Awesome stuff. Let's get my 
rangers up into the back up into the mix. Let's get my cavalry to stop chasing them and instead smashing the back of this line infantry. Get all my guns to focus on that unit of line infantry. Break them so I can spin my line around. Smash and they should break in short order. Awesome. Let's bring the flank around, let my cavalry continue. Just put try that in there. Try my microphone there for a second. Sorry, it's very unprofessional, but I am not professional. Um, actually, that's really funky to use my keyboard. How about that? So it's given into position. Ooh, who's that? come back. Firelock armed citizenry and some line infantry. Let's get my skirmishers up together so they can at least support each other. Let's bring a unit of cavalry back. Let's bring this unit of cavalry back as well. Good. So these chaps are losing numbers quite quickly. Let's push up on the flank. Just get my this coverage chase down the unit of mortars that's still in position. Collectively, I think these guys have enough firepower to see off this line infantry unit and also the guerrillas who look like they're taking up defensive position behind the fence. Chase them down. There we go, I mean, this entire flank is crumbling. Grenadiers, they're reloading. So we've made the line infantry route, so let's scoot up and start picking at the Firelock Armed Citizenry. Ooh, no, don't do that. Better run my cavalry into the Swiss pikes. Bad idea. They didn't, they didn't even have bayonets. And they're going to be mightily upset when the 11th Regiment of Foot tears into their flank. Once they've reloaded. Everyone mobbed the Swiss pikes. Falling quickly. Firelocom Citizen Europe will probably fall quickly as well because they are just being picked off by my skirmishers, especially so when the rest of their army routes. Yep. Good. So then over here. Pivot my guns if they can even target this unit, which is debatable, but they are now wavering. And they will continue to lose men. Let 
Mm. There's five more bit of the dust. The Union of Line Infantry temporarily came back. Can 24 light cavalry make a Farlock Arm Citizenry Unit break? Let's try it. They could well break before they get there, but... It's brave lads. Hold fire with my skirmishes. Actually, I can re-engage. Yes, it is enough. They lost one cavalryman. But that's the army broken. Excellent. Let's end the battle there. Very heroic victory by our forces. That's the Sip Peninsula. We are we are dug in. And there is nothing they can do about it. Because that is Venice. Nation destroyed. Venice. So that's Venice destroyed. They hate us, but if we exempt them from tax for a while. They don't have any schools, which is good. Um, but we have no money to repair anything. So let's spend what little cash we do have on doing a bit of replenishment on our troops. And that my invasion into Europe has gone really rather well. So let's hop back over to the Americas. And it has been pointed out that really um, I should take this region down here as it is just rebels. And it would open up a front to the... Um, Louisianans, who are currently just blockading me, so I need to build up an army and a navy, of which I continuously forget. And we can recruit second rates. 23 grand next turn. It's a lot of cash. Depends. I want Venice to be just a blocking, uh, a blocking force from Austria and Poland coming from the east, because I'd rather like them to, to figure out who the big daddy's going to be in that part of the world. And then I'd be more than happy to fight them. But I think I'd like to put a garrison and then probably send an army down to Tripoli to take it from the Barbary States to have a front line with the Ottomans. Trade with the Russians. Um, who are you at war with? Ottomans, Swedes and the Barbary States. We have no strong feelings about them either way. Has Russia taken Stockholm? I think it has. Hmm. It would be an interesting one if they have taken Stockholm. Because then they're only a, just a small piece with Dagestan. Why not? You are a... <laughs> it was a bug that caused us to be at war in the first place. And I know there are mods to get rid of it, but it's never really that much of a problem. Bavaria. There is a port in this region that has Ooh. not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. So Prussia has declared on us. I don't know where they're going to attack us from, but you know. Okay, Poland. Peace. Do I give them? that territory isn't worth a huge amount it's just this one up here off of the Venezuelan coast not yet because we're not a we're not at war or that we're not we don't share a border for me to worry about so I'm not going to make me make peace just yet oh, I do want to build walls but that'll be for the next turn I think let's just repair everything to replenish my army. Um, and you have no major things to spend cash on. And I could upgrade this. But I think I'd probably be better off starting to build my navy. Or maybe build the academy. Because I'm starting to run out of things to research in the military side. So let's get Charlotte on. Researching some industrial stuff. Ooh. 
build a naval hospital, jump straight to first rates. That'd be a good idea, I think. Just a second, I'm going to quickly uh, have a sneeze. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, I've still got my Reiki boy up here trying to... Yay, got him! He got the priest, so send him down to Cherokee Territory. Um, this army is looking a bit on their own, especially with all that cavalry, so I'm tempted to pull the cavalry out. Or at least disband it, because it's not quite as useful. Peace of Dagestan, new national leader, Deacon the First. New nation arises, Bavaria. Port blockaded. Some good construction has been done, so we didn't get all the cash we quite were hoping for. Last turn. Um, Bavaria. I can't trade with Bavaria, that's sad. Still. I would like... Oh, and also War Genoa. So this army will march on and then take Genoa. So then Genoa... Well, the north will be fairly well secure. Um, let's have a look what Spain thinks of me. Not a lot. Well, if Spain declares on me, then I'll have a little Holy Roman Empire going on in here. And then I will just continue... Well, actually, I'm still at war with the rest of... I'm still at war with the Spanish colon Spanish and French colonial powers, so I do well, I do need that navy. I just do. So maybe more ships? Second rates sooner may have been better than first rates in the long term. Maybe. I mean I'm still gonna build second rates, but you know me, I'm bad at the navy stuff, so I need to overgun. <laughs> I need to overmatch. Um, as much as possible. And Russia did take Stockholm. Wowzers. So this is becoming quite an interesting game. Just to see how the map plays out. Because the first time... In this region that has not yet been for the first time ever, Poland has been doing really well and is just absolutely crushing it right now, including Prussia. Uh, Russia's actually done some offensive moves down up against the Ottomans, so maybe they might go after Istanbul, which would be pretty cool. But they're also pushing on the north, they're taking Stockholm, and they'll soon take Christiana and knock out the Swedes. Um, you, are, you are all replenishing, yeah. So I'm going to... I'm going to lose a turn building walls in Venice, but if I want this to be a, a blocker, I need those walls. And I probably want the drill school as well. But I think... I'm actually going to upgrade Governor's Chamber in Corsica. Nine turns till the port's ready. Good stuff. So we've got to improve Grape Shot, which isn't brilliant, because Grape Shot's just a bit meh. You go for the next double naval tech, you'll go for the industrial tech. Next turn I'll build a... I'll build the, the Military Academy, then probably the Great Arsenal. So I can still recruit ships, actually. So let's move out another turn. Because the Austrians could end up being a potential enemy to us, but that's okay. We will easily better crush them. Not doing so well. They're penned in on all fronts. They have two or three regions. They have Croatia, Austria, and I think that might be it. It is a bit annoying about how the Iroquois aren't pushing against the Louisianans as I would have hoped. I mean, I could march that army that's in Cherokee territory north and go take it. I could just do that. And it's still going to be in the area in case the... in case, Because my, my suspicion is that the, the native factions will eventually just kick off. Oh, yes, because I got the new mining infrastructure done. Okay, first. Military Academy, great arsenal. Let's get the next tier. The next tier researchable stuff ready. 
Let's build 3,000 for second rates. Let's build two second rates and a third rate. And let's spend this cash on coaching in. That's happiness. Let's spawn more rakes. No, it's not quite what I need. I do have these. This Spanish Navy being a cheeky scam, and I've got this Navy here that's blockading my army from doing anything useful. Um, oh, I do have fourths down here. I mean, they should probably do it. Actually, what can I. Because I just remembered in my Swedish campaign I could make ridiculous stuff from top tier fishing ports. But I don't have any of those. Ooh, but I do have you in Newfoundland. Let's take Harry Barry. Embark him onto the ships. Ooh, that wasn't ideal. Because what I wanted was... You are all embarked. Good. Send this guy on a run around down to Louisiana. He might find a whole bunch of pirates. Not many pirates. I mean, that would just be stomp fest. Victory! Sorry, guys. Could have demanded surrender, but I didn't want to. Cool. This army's ready, so next turn I'll build some, build a garrison, then I'll march them westwards against Genoa. Because Genoa doesn't have Corsica, they've got no annoying islands to hide on. You can all... Oh, oh that's... That mixes it up. So, they're already at war with Britain, so I'm going to worry about that. Number am at war with Genoa, and that's okay. I'm already... There's no... The only... The, tic the tickler is France. Except... So France has not joined them. Oh, wow. Oh, they are attack. <gasps> this is ideal. They're attacking me with no artillery, and I've got a load of infantry. Let's do it. Let's defend Rome. Then the Roman garrison immediately... I think that's going to be my plan. I was hoping, hoping something like that would happen. There's all As well. In northern Italy. Good stuff. So. Should be fairly, fairly simple. They have no artillery. They just have conscripts. And they don't have that many of them. So we outnumber them. Qualitatively. Quantitatively. If I've even said those words correctly. Everyone else, just... Actually, the cavalry can stay out. Everyone else, just... Stay ready. Okay, now this is the tricky bit now. All well, my guys at the front have manned the cannons appropriately. It's almost everyone has, it's just over here. But when they cross over this, this is quite a handy little defilade. Silly fort placement. That's more like it. Awesome. So now when these poor, poor souls crest the hill. Look at them. Right at the back they've got their pokemen and their general's bodyguard if they manage to secure a gatehouse, which they will not. So where are they going to get engaged by first? Who are they going to get engaged by first? Um, 
think I think it's gonna be these conscripts. Maybe these conscripts. I never really like garrisoning these corner walls because they never seem to do. Empire Tower War Sieges are already buggy, so this doing it like this always seems the easiest. It gives them opportunity to climb up in four middle pocket. But you can deploy troops to try and deal with that. So this is gonna be attack repel, attack repel, attack repel, win! So the 6th Regiment that's charged straight into the walls is broken. The 28th is doing okay. They're starting to get engaged by more of my troops as they run along the walls. The artillery fire is breaking their morale. This assault is already broken. Apply my cavalry and chop up the conscripts, because why not? And I'll probably send them to chase after these guys. Yeah, it's routing on all flanks. And these chaps are going to get penalised for their silly mistake. Actually stand yeah, they can stand up to us. They will yeah, they'll probably stand up and go do do a bit a bit more scrapping. To be honest, I could have even deploy these guys outside of the walls. Yeah, we're starting to lose cavalry now, so we're gonna lose twenty horsemen for the loss of for the killing of 150. Conscripts. But they're going to break pretty soon, hopefully. Good. Continue chasing them. I mean, this one's as good a one as any to chew up. Oh, bless their souls. They're trying to come back and attack. But the good thing is, this garrison is already is in quite good shape to then just advance south and capture Naples anyway. And this provides an easy opportunity to get some good experience for my troops. Because this is... It's going up by one rank, you can already see. So base infantry is... Accuracy 40, reloading skill 25, ammunition 13. Going up one rank, 42 and 27. So they're, they're more likely to hit and they're faster to reload. Is, that, is there a morale impact as well? Yes, there is. Troops with one chevron, plus one melee, plus one, def plus one melee attack, plus one defense, plus one morale. Which is pretty damn useful. That's how you end up getting, like, my guards. Guard infantry. I mean, engineers, they're more melee based, I guess. Still, my line infantry with experience. Even my regular line infantry, actually. Yep, disregard. Regular line infantry outshoot guards. Especially because I'm losing so few men. Like, I may end up um, losing like a chevron of experience on my cavalry, but I think that's an acceptable trade. This is the glorious 30th. Just keep knocking them back. Might even knock this up to next speed up. Yep, they're going to just, my cavalry is going to destroy, completely destroy a conscript unit. Not without loss, I must admit. It was originally 90. They've lost 30 cavalrymen. Yeah, they did finish them off. Cool. Actually, I might go this way. Just send them off on a charge. 
Delta is the last remaining conscript unit that thinks it has a chance. Then, just as a little something to entice the General on the Pikes. Because my cavalry are likely to do a lot of mopping up. Yep, yeah, everyone else is everyone else is broken, broken. So let's speed up time. Chase them down. So these currently unbloodied souls may have to put themselves in a risky position. Oh wow, some of them actually ran up and then climbed down. Hey, they did actually manage to get up onto... well... They put some... They put some uh, ropes on the walls anyway. Oh, okay. They, count, they counted as battle over when they had no way in, because pikes cannot assault walls. That's a lovely, lovely fact. Stab in the back by the Spanish. 1,600 men lost for loss of 31 of ours, and that was almost exclusively... It was, just cavalrymen. Let's have a look at the statistics. So... Lot, yep, so a whole bunch of line infantry went up one rank. The cavalry went up lots, but that 31 loss will probably cause that to go down to maybe one or two chevrons when they recruit more men. They got 400 kills to their name. Yeesh. But I suspect this is not the last we'll have heard of the Spanish. Yep. So maybe our plans to march heroically out of Venice and straight eastwards may be a bit misguided. Um, but we'll end up expanding our army in Rome, both to hold Rome and to also send the army that's west and hit Milan. Uh, Know, tidy up your own territory before expansion too much I don't I really really hate having troops raiding around the countryside so if at least if I did it that way I could knock out the I could knock out the um the Spanish raiding force my Naples get my not no my Naples garrison my Rome garrison can head south and lay siege to Naples where they will get access to a garrison bonus, so I'd probably still want to expand my current Rome garrison as it is. But apart from that, I think it's going rather swimmingly. Barbary States, just going to be the Barbary States. There is a port in this region that has not yet... Yep, mobile. Everyone's replenishing. So, in terms of getting goods on the market from this region... So you've got a choice of tobacco or... Uh, coffee or sugar and cotton and tobacco. So we probably want tobacco and... No, cotton and coffee. Cotton's more than tobacco, coffee's more than sugar. So, cotton and coffee. Good. And then our trade routes being, our navy, our trade routes are being raided, which is causing us some problems. Hmm. I mean, it is tempting just to march these guys out and take Louisiana. No if I do this, it frees up. It'll remove this navy from the map entirely, and then I can get this army down and take Caracas, and that'll be a major population or major uh, capability boost for the Caribbean. Trinidad and Tobago can be expanded, but first priority is Europe for the minute. So let's recruit a general. Amadeus Crisp, old Crispy. Oh, we can get a howitzer and a hussar unit. And then maybe recruit all my grenadiers. Let's recruit 
two fusiliers. So for Venice, just start recruiting. Well, actually, I've got to see if I can even abandon Venice. Not abandon Venice, but, you know. Might keep them in Venice just until this army gets a bit stronger and I've got a bit more of a capacity for recruiting more of a garrison. Because these guys have been quite badly battered, but they do get a bunch of troops for a garrison, so they may end up doing something sneaky. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the 13 colonies. Cheers, guys.